In this video, we are going to talk about Bootstrap and the power of AI. Hello and welcome to this new session of Building in Public, an AI-based app. But before we proceed to the live journal and building, let's take a closer look on what we will cover each week. So I have spread it across on five pillars of this journey. One, Building in Public. Second, 100% Remote Teamwork. Third, AI-based app, the research and development. Fourth, bootstrap or finding an investor. Fifth, marketing and promotions to reach out to the target audience. In this video, we are going to talk about an incredibly powerful tool that can transform your startup dreams into reality. I'm talking about bootstrap and the power of AI. Before we dive into the advantages of a bootstrap business, let's take a quick look at the two immensely successful business in India that started from scratch without relying on finding an investor. I'm talking about Zerodha and Zoho. Zerodha, the largest retail stock broker in India and Zoho, a globally renowned software company, both share a common journey. They bootstrapped their way to success. By focusing on the power of bootstrap, these companies were able to build solid foundations and achieve remarkable growth without external investors. Next what you are watching is an AI generated video. So what exactly is bootstrap and why should you choose it over finding an investor for your startup? Let's explore the pros of bootstrap. The first major advantage of bootstrap is independence and control. When you bootstrap your startup, you retain complete control over your vision, strategy and decision making. You are the captain of your ship and that level of independence allows you to shape your business as you see fit. Bootstrap gives you the freedom to experiment, pivot when necessary and make decisions quickly. You don't have to worry about pleasing an investor and meeting their demands. It offers flexible growth opportunities without relying on investor funding. You have the flexibility to scale your business at your own pace. You can adapt to market conditions, adjust your strategies and make decisions based on what's best for your business. Zerodha started as a small team but gradually expanded its customer base by providing exceptional services and continuously innovating their platform. Uh, zero is the favorite word at Zerodha. Zero funding, zero debt, zero loss. Um, but how long did it sort of take for you to become profitable, Nitin? And was that always the way you wanted to build a company? Yeah, no, firstly, thanks for having us here. You know, I mean, uh, you know, both Kailash and I, first thing we noticed were there were glass bottles. So, you know, thanks for whoever thought of having glass bottles instead of plastic. <laughs> so, uh, no, about, uh, see, when we started the business, there, there was no big ambitions. We were really thinking building Zeroda as an extension to what we were doing, you know, Nikhil and I as traders back then. Uh, and Nikhil continued trading. I thought, you know, I have an opportunity to go build a broking business. And that's how the business started. Uh, actually, the first year of the business was profitable because of Nikhil's trading. You know, in a sense, uh, his trading profits was, you know, in a way, a seed capital uh, for the first one or two years. Uh, but it, the business became, you know, profitable from operations of sorts, uh, I think, from the third year onwards. And uh, uh, so I think, I think, see, the, in the journey, I think the, the reason we are profitable is because we have never spent money acquiring a user, right? And, uh, and this was a concept, I think, uh, as a trader, I knew this very well, that looking at an, an advertisement doesn't get you to trade, right? The trigger to get you to trade is more, you know, more peer-induced. You know, I'm trading, I make some money, I tell my friend, oh, I traded. He asked me, you know, where did I trade? You know, I let him know, right? As in, it was more peer-induced, and so we said, uh, so yeah, so spending from advertising didn't make sense, and especially at the low cost at which we were working. Uh, you know, if you spend three, four, five thousand rupees acquiring a user, there was absolutely no clarity on how you ever, you know, kind of recover that money. Um, so yeah, so the stance of not advertising is really what has helped us uh, stay profitable, and which has also meant that it has, you know, it has made it almost like for us forced upon us that you have to constantly keep doing something different. Because if you want the word of mouth to continue happening, um, you need to keep doing something different uh, as a business, you know. So, yeah, so that's, that's really how, uh, you know, the business has evolved. 
At what point did you think that? Creating their platform. This flexible growth allowed them to become a market leader without diluting their core values. Financial stability is another significant aspect of bootstrap. By self-funding your startup, you avoid the pressures and constraints of repayment schedules and interest rates. You can reinvest your profit back into the business, ensuring sustainable growth. Zoho's bootstrap journey enabled them to invest heavily in research and development. The strategy decision allowed them to develop innovative products and stay ahead of their competitors. Last We look at step back and see why these layoffs are happening now. If we look at our uh, industry prior to the layoff, before there was a massive boom, and we had, uh, um, and this was unleashed because of central bank policy, particularly during the pandemic era, all the money printing. But even before that, all of the QE policies by Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, the Bank of Japan, all of these pursued a very expansionary monetary policy that created asset bubbles, a massive stock market bubble, real estate bubble, and a venture capital bubble. That venture capital flew into startups. It created all these unicorns. And the sad part was most of them are money losing. They're losing hundreds of millions or sometimes billions of dollars and still supported very fancy valuations, 10 billion, 20 billion, all of that. And then the money dried up because inflation rose. They had to cut back on the money supply and that cost a into the boom. That's really the sequence. And during that bubble, the, particularly the late bubble period, because of the elevated growth rates, which everybody experienced, including us, a lot of companies went on a hiring spree. But companies often doubled in size or grew 60-70% in headcount in just two years, which is extremely rapid expansion. And now that you know the money has dried up, suddenly growth has dropped. There is a stall in growth and therefore naturally layoff summary. That's really Their the sequence of what happened. Lastly, Bootstrap provides you with a valuable learning experience. When you bootstrap your startup, you're forced to wear multiple hats and learning various aspects of running a business. This hands-on experience can be invaluable in honing your skills as an entrepreneur. For any founder, Bootstrap teaches them resilience, resourcefulness, and the importance of making every penny count. It is challenging, but it makes you stronger and more equipped to tackle any obstacles that come your way. Hope you find this video beneficial. If you do like it, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave your comments and feedbacks and keep building.